Hello, I hope you're having a good day. If you're not, I understand what you're going through and it will pass. And just hope that you can think about better times. This episode, I'd like to talk about tests because there are quite a lot to get your head around. I would expect you will have had a mammogram by now, but if you are looking at this at the very start, then let's talk about mammograms. Most people over 50, um, in my neck of the woods anyway, will have um, a mammogram every three years, normally to pick up any abnormalities. And it is an anxious time. It is an anxious wait for the results, even if you haven't had a previous bad diagnosis. But when you have found something, then that's even worse. And I've worked with people when they've been waiting for their results and they can't concentrate on anything. They, they're really in a state of limbo. Um, and I've worked with people whose results have been clear when they've been told there is nothing wrong um, and the relief is palpable. But when your results are uh, cancer, then that's quite different. So if you haven't been from a mammogram before, just to explain that you would usually take your clothes off from the top, including your bra, and put on a hospital gown, and then you go into the room where they do the x-ray. So the machine, the way that it looks at your breast is basically to squash it as flat as it can. I mean, I think it's barbaric. I can't believe that this many years on, they're still having to squash the breast and in some cases cause pain to get the result. Um, but there we are, we have that facility and we've got to live with it for now. So if you've got quite large breasts and you are concerned about discomfort, I was told to take a few painkillers, paracetamol, something mild before you go, which might help. When you've uh, finished and they've got clear images, then obviously you can go home and you will get your results between two weeks to a month later. Um, in my case, because I went privately initially, I was told straight away and that was a great help. But since then I've not. Um, I've gone through the National Health Service for my uh, mammogram which are now annual. So that's your first step. If they find something, you would then expect to have a biopsy. Um, it's a sort of a mechanical looking tube and they say you'll feel a pinch and a loud bang. And it isn't, my, in my case, I didn't find it painful at all. Um, other people have said that they've had some pain but it is a sort of momentary thing although you will be left probably as I did with bruising in the area but that will clear up over time. Then you get your test results with that of course. Another tool that they would use is ultrasound which you may have experienced for other things. Um, they used that to find a couple of kidney stones that I had years before um, so I'd, I've been used to um, having that. That's not painful at all. They just smear gel on you and then put the plastic device over and around to get a different view of it. The next one is breast MRI. Now this one I thought was a bit out of the dark ages, to be honest. Um, not from pain, but just from the size of the machine and the noise it made. So I was told to um, to wear ear phones to block out the noise. Um, and I thought I would practice my mindfulness, meditation type of thing, and that helped. But they, um, they inject you first, make sure they get the needle in right, because my first one was painful because they didn't have the needle in right. Don't be afraid to say. 
And then I lay on the machine on my front and it had two holes where your breasts go in. Um, and then they sort of put you inside this donut shaped ring, um, only part of your body. Uh, so facing down, which is probably better. Um, but the noise, even with the earphones on, it was like there was a pneumatic drill going on outside and some men, workmen clattering. But, you know, that's only uh, unusual and a little bit shocking. But if you know and you expect it, it's fine. Then I had a bone scan, which was a similar uh, sort of thing, but not so noisy and uh, fairly peaceful compared to the MRI. Um, then I had a CT scan on my stomach. That was a little bit weird because they put some, uh, they injected me with something which um, is sort of warm and makes you feel like you want to pee, even if you don't. Anyway, those are the ones that I had. I also had a mugger heart scan but I'll talk about that separately because that's only for, um, or usually for those who are HER2 positive. So we'll do a separate episode about that. So I hope that none of this will frighten you. Um, it's pretty routine. They're doing them day in and day out at the hospitals. Uh, and you know, you may be a bit anxious. Um, I certainly have been at times, but then it's over and you're out the door and fine. No, no lasting um, bad side effects. Uh, so I hope that's a help if you are going into the unknown and I hope that it works out so that all of your uh, scans and tests will not be too uncomfortable.